I'm revealing my Instagram Reels editing process, which has enabled me to reach over half a million people within just first 30 days. Let's get started! You need to be using this editing pack for all of your videos. Transitions, sound effects, motion background, LUTs, animations, fonts and many more for the fraction of the cost of other packs. And I've also included drag and drop timeline templates and 90 minutes of raw video editing screen recordings. If you wanna save hours and create the best looking short form content out there, make sure to purchase my pack by clicking the first link in my description. Select all the clips, right click on them and hit extract audio. Click on the adjustment tab, hit LUTs and drag and drop Apple Lock on the timeline. Use the on-screen control to extend it till the end of the video. Now let's drag and drop our second LUT on the timeline and once again use the on-screen controls to extend it till the end of the video. Now click on our first LUT, go under the adjustment tab, click on the second tab, click on the red color and decrease the saturation to minus 20. Go back to the basic tab, scroll down and increase the exposure to 5. Now select both LUTs, position your playhead on the cut and just hit command or control B and replicate this for all the cuts. Select row clip and both LUTs, right click on them and hit create compound clip. Now replicate this for all the other clips. Now select all of the audio clips and increase the volume to 10 decibels. Now position your playhead at the beginning of the video and add a keyframe on transform. Count 20 frames forward and add another keyframe on transform. Increase the scale to 175%. Right click on the clip and show keyframe animations. Click on this little graph and choose ease out 3. To close this just hit X on a keyboard and drag and drop this background on a timeline. Make sure to click on the background and reverse it just by clicking on this little button. Position your playhead right here and just hit command or control B to cut it. Position your playhead at the beginning of our background and just drag it to somewhere right here. Now position your playhead right here and just hit command or control B. Go on the right side of the software under the adjustments, click on the tab where it says curves, click on this little dot and just drag it up. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this photo on a timeline. Use the on-screen controls to trim it and use the on-screen controls to scale it up to somewhere like this. Now once again go under the video tab, add a keyframe on transform, position your playhead at the end of the clip and count 5 frames backwards, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and add another keyframe on transform. Now make sure to click on the second keyframe, increase the scale to 150, use this little arrow to quickly jump on the first keyframe and reduce the scale to 100. Quickly jump on the second keyframe, hit X on a keyboard, click on this little graph, and choose ease out 3. Drag and drop this fill and burn transition on the timeline. Use the playhead to found the frame where the fill and burn transition covers the whole frame and add a keyframe on transform. Now position your playhead right here and just drag it exactly like this. Scroll down under the blend mode, click on default and choose screen. Position your playhead right here and copy and paste this fill and burn transition one time. Then just drag it to somewhere like this. Use the on screen control to trim it so it will fit nicely. Now position your playhead right here click on our clip and add the keyframe on transform. Drag the playhead till the end of the clip and once again count 5 frames backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and add another keyframe and scale this down to 150. Click on the second keyframe, hit X on a keyboard, click this little graph and once again choose ease out 3. Now position your playhead right here and copy and paste this one time. Click on motion backgrounds and drag and drop this motion background on a timeline. Scale it up to 105%. Now do a cut on every new sequence when I start talking. Go back to the media panel, click on transitions and drag and drop 3 transitions on a timeline. Select both transitions and under the blend mode choose screen. Now just trim it so it will fit perfectly. Delete this part, drag it till the beginning and delete this leftover part. Now go back to the media panel and search for these sound waves. Drag and drop it on a timeline, scale them up to let's say somewhere like this and just trim them right here. Click on motion backgrounds, just drag and drop this new background over our old background and we can easily replace it. Position your playhead at the end of the sound waves and copy and paste this fill and burn transition one more time. Now click on our background and do the cut on every fifth frame. Now let's replace this old background with seven new ones. So just drag and drop them over and replace them. Position your playhead right here and once again copy and paste this fill and burn transition. Now select both clips and scale them up to 150%. Click on our top clip, go under the tab called mask we are gonna use horizontal mask, rotate it 90 degrees, position your playhead at the beginning of the clip and drag the mask right here and add a keyframe. Now position your playhead at the end of the clip, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames backwards and just drag the mask on the other side and the keyframe will be added automatically. Position your playhead right here and copy and paste this fill and burn transition 
one time. Let's replace this old background with this new one. Position your playhead right here and drag and drop these animations on a timeline. Go under speed step and increase the speed two times. Use the on-screen controls to trim it. Go back to the basic tab. Under blend mode, choose screen. And scale it down to 50%. Position it up here. Now just copy and paste it one time. And let's replace this upper clip with this new one. Drag and drop it and hit replace the clip. Position it somewhere like this. Now let's drag and drop this mouse animation on a timeline. And let's drag and drop this follow button animation on the timeline. Change the blend mode to screen. Select both clips and cut them right here. Delete this part. Position your playhead at the beginning and just drag it to somewhere like this. Now position your playhead at the end of these clips, select them and just hit Command or Control B to delete the leftover parts. And copy and paste this film burn transition one time. Now select these four animations, right click on them and create a compound clip. Now once again go under the blend mode and change it to screen. Go under the text tab and drag and drop the default text on a timeline. Delete it right here where the clip ends and make sure to copy and paste it four times. Click on the first default text and just type in the name of the font. Click on our second default default text, choose a new font and type in the name of this font. Click on our third default text, pick another font and change the name as the font's name. Pick the last font and rename it as the font's name. Now just arrange the fonts so it will fit perfectly in the frame. Click on our first font, go under the animation tab, scroll down and look for the animation called slide right. Click on our third text, go under the animation tab and pick the same animation. Click on our second text, go under the animation tab and pick the animation called slide left and let's do the same for our fourth. Select all four texts, right click on them and create a compound clip. Position your playhead right here, slide it down and make sure to copy and paste this fill and transition overlay one time. Position your playhead right here and add a keyframe on transform and count 20 frames forward and add another keyframe on transform. Increase the scale to 175, hit X on a keyboard, click on this little graph, pick ease out 3. Position your playhead right here, once again add a keyframe on transform slide it till the end of the clip, go one frame backwards and decrease the scale to 150. Once again hit on the second keyframe, hit X on a keyboard and pick ease out 3. Position your playhead at the beginning of the clip and copy and paste it one time. Click on the tab remove background, scroll down and click auto removal. Make sure to fix the layers, go back to the basic tab and put this film burn on the second layer. Position your playhead right here, go back to the media panel and drag and drop this cache explosion on a timeline. Increase the scale, position it somewhere like this, fix the layers, go to the adjustment tab, scroll down under the curves where you see this green one and just drag this to somewhere like this and make sure to crop it where the clip ends and copy and paste this film burn transition. Now let's do the same thing as before. Position your playhead at the beginning of the clip, go back to the video panel, add a keyframe on transform, count 20 frames forward and add a keyframe on transform. Increase the scale to 175, click on the second keyframe, hit X on a keyboard, click this little graph and pick ease out 3. Now go back to the media panel and drag and drop this screen recording on a timeline. Click on this crop tool, click this little drop down menu and pick the ratio 1 to 1 and just hit confirm. Make sure to find the part in the screen recording where I'm replacing one clip. In my case this is right here. Make sure to trim the leftover parts because we will no longer need them. Click on our screen recording, go under the animations, go under the combo and scroll down and look for the animation called angle 2 right here. Click on this, now position your playhead right here, drag this up, position your playhead right here, click on blend, now click one frame forward and add another keyframe on blend and decrease the opacity to zero. And make sure to copy and paste this film burn transition one time, drag and drop the speaker dots on a timeline, click on our first keyframe and hit command B and just delete the leftover parts, go back to the adjustment tab, drag this down and drag this up. Make sure to copy and paste this film burn transition one more time, go back to the media panel and drag and drop this on a timeline, go under the video tab, under the remove background, hit chroma key, click on this color picker, click on the green and just drag the intensity to let's say 30, go back to the adjustment tab, click on this, on the green and decrease the saturation to minus 100. Position your playhead at the end of the clip and just delete the leftover part by hitting command or control B. And make sure to copy and paste this film burn transition one more time. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop once again this screen recording on a timeline. Found the part where the edit is almost complete, delete the leftover parts, decrease the volume 
using this unscrewing control and just slide it down and increase the size so it will fit the phone and put it on the second layer. Now position your playhead at the beginning and add a keyframe on transform. Now slide your playhead till the end of the clip, go one frame backwards and add another keyframe on transform. Make sure to remember this number and just slide the screen recording to somewhere like this. Replace the number, click on our clip right click on it and create a compound clip adjust the layers go under the mask we are gonna use the rectangle mask scale it up and round the edges and drag and drop this background on a timeline hit command b to trim it go back to the adjustment tab under curves drag this down and drag this up fix the layers click on our last clip position your playhead right here add a keyframe on transform and count 20 frames forward and add another keyframe on transform and scale it up to 175 click on our second keyframe hit x on keyboard choose this little graph and pick ease out 3 add another keyframe on transform go till the end of the video move one frame backward and add another keyframe on transform and just decrease the scale to 150, click on the keyframe, hit X on a keyboard and pick ease out 3. Drag and drop this scribble animation on a timeline, under the blend mode, pick screen, scale it down, put the position doesn't matter right now and just delete it right here. Now it's time for sound design. Drag and drop this chunky shutter on a timeline. Right click on it and hit extract audio and delete this part. Now let's add the sound effect under every film burn transition. Once this part is done, let's continue adding small little details like risers and other sound effects. Let's drag and drop this basic riser on a timeline. Make sure to position your playhead right here, trim it in this little time frame. Position your playhead right here and drag and drop this typewriter on a timeline. Zoom in a little, make sure to position it just like this. Go back to sound effects and look for the track called Objective Forum. Drag and drop it on the timeline, right click on it, extract audio, delete the leftover part right here on the transition and make sure it fits like this. Look for the sound effect called slice ring and drag and drop that on a timeline. Zoom in a little and position it just like this. Drag and drop these gears on a timeline. Position your playhead right here when I, where I set sound effects and look for the animation called glass shard. Drag and drop that on a timeline. Position your playhead right here. Go back to sound effects step under tracks. Drag and drop that on a timeline. Right click on it and hit extract audio. Delete that part. Trim it to right here. Position it at the beginning of the sequence and just trim it. Drag and drop this mouse click sound effect on a timeline and align it just like this. Position your playhead right at the beginning of our cache explosion and drag and drop the sound effect on a timeline. Drag and drop and drag and drop the sound effect called burn slides on a timeline. Hit extract audio, delete the leftover parts and just drag it so this will align perfectly. Go back to right here and just copy and paste the sound effect that we used at the beginning. Just position it like this, click on this sound effect called slice ring, copy it and paste it right here. Drag and drop the crispy build sound effect on a timeline. Right click on it and hit extract audio. Delete the leftover parts, position it just like this. Once again, as before, go to the beginning of our video and copy and paste the sound effect called typewriter, position it right here, riser 2. Drag and drop it on the timeline, position it just like this. Now we came up with something like this. If you are trying to add auto captions in CapCut, make sure to mute sound effects. Select all of the sound effects and just hit V on a keyboard. Go under the text tab and hit auto captions and just click generate. Go through captions manually and check the spelling. Select all of the captions, pick a font, increase the scale, make them uppercase, go under the animations, captions, scroll down at the bottom where you see bounce out and type in minus 500. Now we have made something like this. You need to be using this editing pack for all of your videos. Transitions, sound effects, motion background, LUTs, animations, fonts and many more for the fraction of the cost of other packs. And I've also included drag and drop timeline templates and 90 minutes of raw video editing screen recordings. So if you would like to achieve the same results as me in the next 30 days, save hundreds of hours in editing and create the best looking short form content out there, make sure to purchase my pack by clicking the first link in my description. That's all for today, I will catch you guys in the next one.